I've been having that kind of problem lately, but in a way that it's not slacking per se because it's like procrastinating, I guess, because I'm doing something else, but I shouldn't be doing that at all. You know, like I, I don't know, I do the dishes or something like that, but I should just be working instead. Um, but, oh yeah, Francis, I wanted to ask you, what, are you, what have you been doing? Because you kind of disappeared for a while. Uh, I've been doing a lot of tests, and a lot of like life drawing, and a lot of figure drawing. Oh yeah, I've seen I that. Basically, I basically spend the whole summer doing that. Uh, what I'm, what I've been doing is that, like, I spend the whole day animating. Uh, usually, like, I don't know, maybe freelance or like a test, like something I've never animated, you know, yeah. something simple. But then when it hits like 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, I start doing live drawing, and I have to do about 30 live drawing sketches or full images, whatever, and I color one of them. And then I go to bed. So every day for the past three or two months, I've been doing 30 drawings every night before That's going good. to bed. That's and really animating. Good. Yeah, and animating. You can kind of um how like the, how I was drawing before that and how I'm drawing now and how I'm animating now. And it's like a whole new world, you know. It's like yeah. a whole new style I'm using, and everything's so different from a couple of months ago. Like when uh, a lot of people like they say that it's not so important to learn like live drawing all of that if you're if you're um, doing animation and you're doing cartoons or you know whatever you're doing but it's really important because um, that way you kind of see everybody as just uh, geometrical figures basically everybody or everything that you draw you see it as shapes basically. So yeah, basically that's what I've been doing all this time. But now I gotta go back to do some freelance, maybe. Do you have any advice for me going into freelancing? So you can... Let me let me just give you a quick advice right now. Yeah. Um, about freelancing. So, um... You gotta be nice to your clients and you gotta tell them what they wanna hear, uh, know what you really think. I know some people that that um, somehow they get clients to do exactly what they want. Like if, if a client tells you, hey, you, I just want like a dude jumping up and down and then he runs away or whatever and you're like, no, it's gonna be a dog. I know people <laughs> that can do that. Maybe you're not one of those. Sorry. If, you're, if you're a sweet talker, then yeah, just go for it. But usually, just treat your um, treat your um, your clients well, because one client can become like I don't know, ten clients, twenty clients, because they all you know, one company tells another one, oh man, you know, I hired this this guy, this animator to do this ad, and it came out really well. He was really talkative, you know, he was really like nice to me and all that shit. 